like I need it. Or if you need a hockey puck, that's free too. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's okay if I look at the turntable. I'm not not out of the box. No, it's it's still factory oh, okay. everything. Oh, really? I, I'm the only one that opened the, the tape. Oh, I got you. Just yeah, to, just I didn't to want to take contest. it out. That's why I got pictures. Oh, yeah. And, uh... No. I, I like that. And you can have one of those if you want. You have 35 on it? Yeah, that's a firm price on it. Yeah, that. I'll do that. It's not, no worries. Okay. You got 35. Great. Thank you very much, sir. Yep, thank you. Enjoy. There's that for you. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good one. Various beer taps. So at this booth, I saw that Elder Beerman box when I opened it. It is filled with vintage Christmas ornaments, and I just thought they were really cool. I really don't know the value at the top of my head. I really need some time to go through them and kind of figure that out. But even as a lot, I think it'll be cool to list if I have to go that route. Do you know what you wanted on the ornaments? Um, I, I was just gonna do $2 for the whole box. Two bucks for the whole box? Yeah. I'll do that. All right, cool, thank, thank you. you. So I saw this Sega licensed turbo board game here by Milton Bradley and I believe they ended up only charging me a dollar for this, so pretty awesome. It has all kinds of stuff with it. I don't know if it's fully complete or not from looking at it. I think underneath there, there were additional parts and whatnot, but haven't had the chance yet to like really go through it, so. But for a dollar, I can't lose. It would definitely part out well. And it's just so cool. How often do you see a vintage video game, board game? And so they had some vinyl here and they had a ton of Elvis. So I figured I'd go ahead, grab these Elvis records and I could lot them together. So I ended up getting 25 Elvis records for $20, which I think is pretty awesome. Ended up paying the man there and moving on to the next booth. So this was some guy set up in the parking lot actually right across from where I parked my car. So when I saw what he had, I do end up grabbing this OKC, uh, the Kevin Durant hat or whatever, uh, for $2. I don't buy it now. He didn't have any change. So I had to come back around and pay him for it. Might get like 15 bucks for it or something. The uh, snowball here, I was like, man, this box feels really light. And unfortunately, the thing was entirely empty. So no big deal. All right, guys, going to share with you my favorite find from this market. And it was this Pink Floyd picture disc. So the frame does have a little bit of wear where the like black enamel paint has chipped away a little bit. However, other than that, it's overall in really good condition. So this one's going to be really hard for me to sell, guys, because I'm actually a massive Pink Floyd fan, like literally one of my favorite bands. I thought this might be a really cool wall piece to keep for myself, but it's just very hard to keep stuff for me in this business because we have so much stuff that the goal is always just to get rid of stuff and turn it into money. So I don't know. The Terra Peak sales on this are pretty decent. So 
There are no current solds in the last 90 days, so that is always a little bit of a worry, but there are two Terra Peak sales, and I think we'll be able to turn a pretty decent profit on this. Hi. Pretty good yourself? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. the artist, yeah, they can use away to have more pieces. People breaking your I bet. <laughs> They're great home protection. You do that ain't shit. Yeah. See how quickly this goes. <laughs> Interesting, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> I'll see. Daria, huh? When I come back someplace, we can nap in peace. I'll have a pizza and an isolation tank. <laughs> Let's get that. After my vacation Go on. here, then I'll really see. Over here. Oh, I'm still on the list. <laughs> Probably get the tailor made. So, um, it'll be interesting like looking a, through my bag once on I come side. back. Because, you know, I know what they're going to, you know, I've been through it half a, uh, four or five, six times already. So I know, you know, one time. Seven, eight. Okay. So we'd be, what, 16? Yep. And exact change. Yep. Appreciate it. No problem. Good luck today. Yeah, thank you. Come on, Justin. Hey, how's it going? Oh, thanks. I was looking for you. What we got here? And then I got a bunch of Happy Meal poison here. I don't know if anybody likes it. Stop that Yeah. Over here. What do you want on rock and roll, Santa? It was five. <laughs> Four ninety nine. I get a penny back. You really want a penny back? No. It wasn't rain until she said rain. Alright, so I need to get that right there. What do you have on this? Dollar. Okay. Hey guys, I got more hats. Expected it to be this heavy, and it was supposed to be like really brief, but this is gonna probably kill the day right here. All right, real quick story while I wait for the rain to pass here, guys. So, like maybe like 2010 or whatever, I was like set up at a church flea market, somewhere like that, and I just got my first smartphone. So it was like when smartphones finally hit $100 at Radio Shack, so I could afford one. And I went and got, it was an LG, it was small, it was tiny, and uh, I was super stoked and happy to have it though. So. I was out set up and everything. I was like, well, I don't know. I, I, it was just beautiful, perfect day. And there was no like heads up that something bad or anything was coming. So, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to look at the weather app. So I look at the weather app and uh, it was just the weather channel or whatever. And I see this big red and green and dark green and stuff coming like and this is uh, i'm in columbus ohio so it's like coming towards us like perfectly in a few minutes like i'm like oh, what is this it's like i'm not a meteorologist by the way so i mean i just looked it's all scary stuff on a map and i'm just like we like gotta pack up right now so get everything packed up and just like right as i shut my van door 
this giant gu uh, gust of wind came through. It was crazy. Like you could barely move in it, like uh, at all. All the tables near me, they hadn't torn down yet. It blew all this glass off and like all, all of this stuff shattered. So I ran in, we ran inside the church for sanctuary and like barely made it in there, I felt like. And it was nuts. It was like 70, 80 mile per hour winds. Just this crazy windstorm, right? That smartphone, that $100, investment basically saved everything because like I had everything tied up in merchandise and stuff at the point which wasn't a whole lot I wasn't making like a killing or a ton of money or anything at that point I probably would have been homeless because like I, yeah could have gotten a job or something but there's no paycheck turnaround that would have been quick enough to like bail me out financially at that point so I felt terrible for the other people that got kind of messed up with it I ended up uh, without power for seven days in my house in the middle of summer so it's like 90 degrees and everything uh, which was utterly miserable and like having to charge my phone in the car and whatever but yeah that's my story so the ones that have the um, plastic still on them, I yeah. did research, I called people, and the one, they all have warranties, and the warranties are still good. Oh, really? So see, there's this one, all these are brand new except for these two, and this one. Oh. Yeah. Well, then I'll do a bit. So I probably retaped these which then I would, wouldn't sell them as personally. That's just what I would do. And I can understand this one because this one's shinier. Yeah, these two right here are doing it. I'm surprised. Then, this one has the specs that it's... Dale, did you bring all the bats? You bring all the bats? What would you want on these four, uh, including like, basically three of them have kind of that issue, it looks like. How much? 20. 20? Yeah, I'll do 20. Because you gotta retake it. How's it going? Good, how are you, man? Not bad. What do you got on the Retron? Uh, five bucks. I'll do that. What do you have in the gum? Uh, I'll do three bucks a box. Three bucks a box. Avengers. Which Avengers? <laughs> uh, I can't remember which one they're doing, but it's got the. I can't remember her name. It's, Scarlett it's Johansson. One, it's got that girl that wasn't. She hasn't even been in one of the movies yet. That's on there. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. I was just making sure it wasn't like the original Avengers. Oh spot. no! no, no. <laughs> shouldn't definitely shouldn't be. Yep. So I owe you eight here. I got yep. ten. Gotcha. I don't I don't know because I never called yeah. <laughs> I was a kid when they came out so I remember uh, I think I think they were like 20 bucks or something you like got them the loose pops five bucks that's the yeah the limited edition one double set it's only one of, the other one that's he's got his muscle shirt on there the other one he's got his uh, regular shirt on you look at the, this the is what, uh, pop. <laughs> I won't believe what I found yesterday What's that? The NWO, New World Order's out. Oh, uh, okay, Free the pops, back. yeah. Hope you enjoyed the flea market action today, guys. So my favorite pickup was obviously the Pink Floyd, the wall, laser disc, picture disc. Really cool, uh, really enjoy just having picked that up and having it. Of course, we're probably gonna list it, even though it probably looked really cool back there somewhere. It's mirrored, that I one point there, like right there where I have the shopping cart sign or something, I think would be really good for that. However, uh, I think we're going to flip it. So that's probably what we're going to do and get that listed. Uh, as far as the other stuff, when it comes to his bats, I couldn't really tell the model numbers from the footage wise editing it. I didn't want to like search around the house right now. So that's why there weren't comps, but I'm going to say a lot of them will probably be like 30, $40. And I think one of them was actually really good. Like two to three of them need new grips and need that handled. So either A, we'll have to disclose that or do something about it ourselves. We'll probably just disclose that and discount. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.